Hey everyone, I am here with Alicia, and Alicia is the co-founder of Aliste Marketing. And Aliste Marketing is a digital agency that's dedicated to sustainable and purpose-driven brands that are really just trying to change the world. So I brought Alicia in today to talk about three ways that you can increase your e-commerce sales. So Alicia, thanks for stopping by today, and the rest is up to you. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to kind of talk shop and give the listeners and viewers some ideas of how they could drive commerce sales um, beyond just kind of the shopping craze of holidays and uh, and events. So I like, there's so many different ways, but one of, um, I say the three foundational driving commerce is making sure foundationally you have a solid platform. And what I mean by that is focusing on social media, focusing on your website is fantastic, but understanding what's happening underneath the hood. So if somebody makes a purchase, if somebody visits you from an ad, what happens to them? So many times I see brands uh, focus on is how to drive the holiday rush. And then after the holidays, they don't actually uh, leverage all the emails or the contacts that made the purchase. So look at your sales funnel. What are the automations that you have in place? What is the email list uh, that you have in place? So that when you are capturing those customers, it's not putting them into a bag that there's a hole and they're kind of falling through. So do some housekeeping uh, on the back end. That would be my first priority. Um, the second is making sure that you have a really solid message and presence on uh, your digital channels. So if somebody ends up on your Instagram page or your TikTok page or your YouTube page, whatever platform you're using, do they know it is your brand? Does it actually represent um, the website that you have, the actual product branding that you have, so that there is no question in their mind that your page corresponds with your brand. And I'm sure Carrington, like you could talk all about that visual identity thread. Oh, yeah. I talk um, to brands all the time where I'll pull up their website and their Instagram and I'll be like, all right, when we look at both side by side, this doesn't look like the same brand. Yeah. Photo yeah. style isn't the same. Your messaging's not the same. It's polar opposite. And yeah. that's that's a really common conversation I have. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, and it's so even now that social media is not even a new thing. Mm -hmm. It's like a different logo or a different favicon like on each page. So just make sure it's consistent. And at the end of the day, your customers know it's you. Um, and then the third is kind of pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and finding partnerships. Who are other, not just like your influencers, but who are other businesses um, that you could partner with. Maybe it's a gift strategy or a gift guide. Um, or, you know, for example, we were working with a rope company and we wanted to really attract the female market and kind of saying, okay, can we use the rope hanging and then have lingerie hanging from the rope and partner with a lingerie company? Mm -hmm. So push yourself out of your comfort zone and seeing what partnerships you can really mold um, to drive sales. Yeah, you got to come up with some creative ideas. Have to, yeah. So sure. if anyone wants to talk to you about these ideas or wants to figure out how do they start implementing or what step one is, how can they get in touch with you? Great question. Um, you can reach us on social media. I am on LinkedIn, um, Alicia Williams, uh, but you can also go directly to our website, alistaymarketing.com, and you can reach out to us. Um, we love to chat, talk shop on marketing, geek out a little bit. Um, but that would be the best way to find us. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carrington.